Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke okay guys, so welcome again to another um, to focus. Yeah. So basically, uh, I'm in a classroom where maybe you can hear a noise in the background. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't disturb you. But if it does, um, I would like to apologize for the disruption of the background voice. Okay, so today um, <clears throat> I will discuss about um, the homework. Yeah. So the homework last time we have here, yeah, exercise eight, yeah, present perfect and simple past. Yeah. Jadi yang kemarin itu ini untuk jawabannya exercise eight. Yeah. Ah, so number one ini untuk present uh, perfectnya, ya itu gimana kalau kita menaruh uh, the verb in present perfect, ya, ya itu tidak ada keterangan waktunya, ya. So there's no adverb of time. Doesn't explain about the time, um, uh, actual time, ya. So, contohnya itu kayak Yesterday, ago, last week, ya. Itu kalau untuk present perfect itu nggak ada, ya. Maka harus pakai kata have atau has, and then verbnya adalah verb three. Sedangkan kalau untuk simple past itu kita menggunakan atau kalimatnya itu ada keterangan waktunya atau ada keterangan adverbnya. Maka kalau ada keterangan uh, waktu itu kita pakainya adalah simple past dan verbnya adalah verb two, ya. So number one ini kita jawabannya adalah um, uh, road ya. Yeah. So the first one is road, okay. And then number two okay, number two ini uh, Bob has seen, yes, Bob has seen this movie before, has seen. And then number three George, yeah, George has read yeah, the newspaper already. Mm -hmm. yeah, then, nomor 2 dan 3 ini ada keterang, uh, tidak ada keterangan waktu, kan? Yeah, jadi, tidak ada kata last, yesterday, maka pakainya adalah present perfect. Dan, number 4, ini Mr. Johnson has worked in the same place for 35 years. And he is not planning to retire yet. Nah, number four, ini juga sama, nggak ada keterangan waktu, ya. Yeah. Nah, Mister, kalau kata bagaimana tahunya itu kita pakai present perfect. Nah, kalau kita tahunya present perfect itu gimana? Yang pertama tadi, pastikan konteks kalimatnya itu tidak ada keterangan waktunya. Ya, dalam pertanyaan itu tidak ada keterangan waktu. Yang kedua, um, kalau kita uh, apa ya? mengetahui bagaimana kalimat itu adalah, ya, harus dibentuk uh, dalam present perfect itu kalau ada kata already yet ya yeah, and then just ya yeah, itu pasti ada kata apa uh, kalau ada kata itu ya yeah, already yet and just itu pasti ininya adalah present perfect and then number five we bla 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 to study for the uh, test yet. Nah, we have not begun. Yeah? We have not begun to study for the test yet. Yeah? We have not begun or haven't begun. Okay. Number six. George blah 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 to the store at ten o'clock this morning. Nah, ini kita adalah pakainya went. George went uh, to the store at ten o'clock. And then number seven. Joanne, blah blah blah, around the world yeah, has traveled. Number eight, mm, Betty, yeah, Betty, blah blah blah, a letter last night. Nah, ini number eight ada kata keterangan waktu itu last night. Last night, berarti sebenarnya past simple. Ada kata last night. Right? And then we have number nine. Uh, Julmero called his employer yesterday. Nah, ini ada keterangan waktu, maka pakainya adalah called. And then number ten, we blah 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 this movie yet. Okay, we haven't 
seen atau we have not seen this movie yet ya. Jadi itu untuk, untuk jawabannya yang ini itu ini ya. Apa? Uh, perhatikan kalimatnya. Yang berikutnya kita masuk ke yang listening. Nah, yang listening. Yang listening kita masuk ke exercise 7 and 8 ya. Exercise 7 and 8. So seven and eight. Okay, we have here dialogues for suggestion, and then number eight is a dialogue for uh, assumption. Okay, you kita perhatikan konteks dari dari dialognya ini. Okay, yang pertama ini konteks dialognya. Ya, we have uh, woman. Yeah, woman says, "I leave the tip since you got dinner." Okay, oh man, okay, five dollar is about 20%. And the th third voice, what does the man suggest that the woman do? Okay, so he, he says that it's okay to give a tip yeah, to the waiter. So since the man says, okay, when the woman offers to leave the tip. Yeah, so the best answer is C. So when you're paling benar adalah C. Number two. Uh, oh no, we are locked out of the dorm. Of, uh, of the dorm. I didn't think it was that late. Do you have a phone number for the security guard? The woman and the man's. Uh, the third boy says, "What does the man suggest the woman do?" So the best answer for this is B, since the man asks whether the woman has a phone number for the security guard. It must be. Concluded that he suggests phoning the guard. Ya, jadi yang paling tepat adalah B. Suggest phoning the guard. Ya, jadi ini bagian yang kita fokus adalah suggestion. Ya. Memberi saran. Suggest. Number three. Uh, all the bathroom are locked. That's odd. Why don't you go down to the main lobby? I think I saw a custodian. There, where we can, where there when we came in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and then the third boy says, "What does the woman suggest that the man do?" So the best answer is C, since the woman mentioned that she saw a custodian in the main lobby. Uh, suggested that the man go down to the main lobby. It must be concluded that the custodian could unlock the bathroom for the man. So the best answer is C. Yeah. Okay, then number four. Woman, are you in line here? Well, we all are. You need to take a number. Okay, the third voice. What does the man suggest that the woman do? And then the best answer is B. Yeah, you need to take a number. Okay, so the best answer is B. You need to take a number. Okay, then number five. It's only twenty dollar. I know, but unless you have a account with us, we can't cash your check. There's a branch of your bank across the street. And what does the man or what does the woman suggest the man do? And then uh, the best answer, yeah, memberi saran bahwa since the woman points out that there is a branch of the man's bank nearby, it must be concluded that he suggested he go to the other bank. Yeah, berarti uh, the woman suggested the man to go across the street, yeah, to his bank to get the money. And then number six, I'll be glad to pick you up at the airport. What time does your plane arrive? Well, it's scheduled to be here at 11.35, but it might be late if the weather is bad out of Chicago. Why don't I call you when I get in? What does the woman suggest that the man do? So the best answer is C, yeah. Why don't I call you when I get in, yeah. So why don't I call you when I get in? Yeah, the best answer is C. So just that the man do is why don't I call you when I get in? Nah, itu adalah suggestionnya, yeah. 
Number seven, what does Dr. Watson gave her office hour this semester? I think her hours are from 2 to 3 o'clock every day. I'm not sure, but I know it's on the syllabus. What does the man suggest that the woman do? Okay. So, since the man mentioned that the hour are on on the syllabus, it must be concluded that he wants the woman to refer to the syllabus. Yeah, it's on the syllabus. Berarti the woman suruh melihat syllabusnya. Okay, and then number eight, where there won't be any kind of, there won't be any kids at the dinner. Maybe we should stay at home. Why don't we get a babysitter? We could use an evening out. What does the man suggest they do? Why don't we get a babysitter? Okay, so yang paling tepat adalah karena ada babysitter sini. Yeah, of course, it's babysitter. Yeah. Number nine. I've tried the interlibrary loan before, and it took too long for the mature to get here. Yeah. Nah, kata too long ini ya, itu berarti lama sekali, ya. Yeah. It it take took it took too long, ya. Yeah. Terlalu lama. So, and then the woman said, I would just use the internet then. You can probably find some similar references. What does the woman suggest that the man do? So the best answer is D, ya. Yeah. Ada kata internet, ya. Yeah. I would just, or I could just use the internet then, yeah. So, ada kata internet, yeah, the best answer is D. Okay, and then number 10. I don't like carrying a lot of cards in my wallet. Saya tidak suka membawa banyak kartu di dompet. But when I never, but then I never have the one I need. Tetapi saya tidak pernah mendapatkan apa yang saya um, butuhkan dari kartu-kartu ini ya. You could put them in a card case and leave them in your book bag. What does the woman suggest that the man do? So, ini karena banyak kartu, tapi kalau kita cuma ngambil apa membawa satu kartu mungkin tidak sesuai dengan budget yang ada di kartu itu. Berarti yang paling benar ada B ya. You could put them in a card case and leave them in your bag. Ya, ada kata card case. Okay, and number eight, exercise eight, dialogue assumption. You mean this test is an open book? No, not this time. Nah, ini assumption ini uh, memperkirakan ya, asumsi. What had the man assumed about the test? Dia berasumsi apakah boleh buka buku? So the man is surprised. Ya, jadi dari intonasi nadanya dia nampaknya kayak kaget. That the test is not open book. Bahwa tesnya tidak buka buku. Number two. I just used the security deposit from my old apartment for a deposit on the new one. So you did get your deposit back after all. And then the third voice, what had the man assumed? Since the man is surprised that he got her deposit back. Yeah. So you did get your deposit back after all. Yeah, A, yeah. surprise, she got her deposit back. Number three, you mean you are going out with Phil again? Just for lunch? What had the man assume about the woman? Yeah. So the man is surprised that the woman is going out with Phil again. It must be concluded that he assumed she would not start dating Phil again. Uh, dia kaget, kenapa apa? balikan dengan Phil? Okay, and number four, woman, my daughter's first birthday is Saturday. Why don't you come? You don't mean it. She can't be a year old already. What does the man assume about the woman's daughter? Since the man is surprised that the woman's daughter is one year old already, it must be concluded that he thought she was younger. Yeah, jadi yang dikirakan bahwa umur dari anaknya itu masih muda atau masih baby ya. Number five, we are almost finished with the handouts for N. 
and he's going to give the presentation for the group. What had the woman assumed about the presentation? And he's going to give the presentation for the group. Uh, the, since the woman is surprised that Anne is going to take the presentation for the group, it must be concluded that she assumed Anne would not make the presentation. Yeah, jadi kita atau the woman assume atau memberikan bahwa Anne itu tidak akan membuat presentasi. Then number six, the health center is in the student service building, not in the union. No wonder I couldn't find it. Now I have to go all the way over to North Campus. What had the woman assume about the health center? Since the man tells the woman that the health center is not in the union, it must be concluded that she thought it was there. Jadi dia memperkirakan bahwa uh, the service building itu berada di union tapi ternyata tidak. Okay, and number seven. Oh, number six yang paling benar B ya. Number seven. I wanted to read Santoroga trunk for my report in English class. But Bill has already asked for it. Bill is reading a novel. What had the man assumed about Bill? Uh, Bill is reading a novel. Tanda tanya. But I think the best answer is C. Yeah? Since the man is surprised that Bill is reading a novel. It must be concluded that the man assumed Bill did not read novels. Yeah, bahwa si laki-laki ini berasumsi bahwa Bill tidak suka baca novel. Number eight, John must have been joking when she when he said he was going to drop out of the business program to apply for medical school. I don't think so. He seems very serious to me. What had the woman assume about John? And then the paling best answer is B. Yeah. John must have been joking. Yeah. Jadi John ini uh, pretending, yeah, berpura-pura. Okay. And then number nine. When we got there, Mr. Brown was already in the lab getting the equipment set up. You mean he was on time? What had the woman assume about Mr. Brown? Yang paling best answer adalah A, ya. So the best answer is A. Okay, where is this? Oh, sorry, it's this one over here. Okay, the best answer is A. Okay, and then number ten. Uh, so we went. So we went with our study group during the break and we each took one part of the book to outline. Wait a minute, Dr. Peterson actually gave you a break? What had the woman assume about Dr. Peterson? So yang paling best answer is C, yeah? since the woman was surprised that Dr. Peterson gave him a break. It must be concluded that she assumed Dr. Peterson would not give him a break, yeah, would not give them a break, yeah. Jadi dia kaget, kenapa sih Mr. Peterson itu menjadi baik, ya, yeah? karena memberikan dia, apa, uh, break, ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, sekarang kita masuk ke TOEFL preparation, ya, yeah, teman-teman. Sekarang kita masuk ke bagian... Sebentar, kemarin bagian mana itu? Modifier, no phrase, whichever neither. Dan udah ya, udah gak usah. Hmm, ini dia. Simple pass and then present perfect, yeah. Kita harus sama present perfect. Nah, sekarang kita masuk ke and already. Oke, 
Okay, present perfect. Nah, sekarang kita masuk ke past perfect. Nah, use the following rules uh, to form the past perfect. Okay, di sini past perfect hanya satu uh, kata kerja bantu yaitu had. Yeah, subject had and then verb in past participle atau verb three. Yeah. The past perfect past perfect is used to indicate. Yeah, kita menggunakan past perfect untuk mengindikasikan an action that happened before another action in the past. There usually are two action in the sentence. Yeah. John had gone to the store before he went home. Uh, John had gone to the store before he went home. Ya, jadi uh, keterangan untuk past perfect ini adalah kejadian di waktu lampau tapi sebelum waktu lampau itu. Ya, bingung ya. Nah, seperti ini. John had gone to the store before he went home. Jadi went home ini udah past simple ya. Tapi kita menerangkan sebelum kejadian in the past formnya itu. Nah, jadi in earlier past ya. Jadi past perfect itu adalah mendeskripsikan keterangan atau kalimat mendeskripsikan kalimat earlier past ya. Kejadian yang waktu itu lampau setelah lampau ya jadi udah waktu lampau dan sebelumnya ya sebelumnya waktu lampau ya jadi earlier past so an action that happened before another action in the past there usually are two action in the sentence okay for example this one Jack told us yesterday that he had visited England in 1970 okay so the first action is he had visited England in 1970 the earlier past yeah, earlier uh, activity yeah, kejadian yang sebelum the first action ini adalah Jack told us that he had visited oh sorry ini yang second sorry 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 ini second action ini ya simple past ya. Jack told us yesterday berarti ini and then that he had visited in England 90s. jadi ini ada earlier past ya earlier past ini in the, in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning ya. in the beginning ya in the beginning <laughs> in the beginning okay. nah, in the beginning <laughs> Okay, and then the past perfect is usually used with before, after, or when. Okay. Study the following formulas. Okay, perhatikan rumus berikut ini. Ya, formula adalah rumus. Okay, karena teman-teman adalah apa manajemen mungkin suka rumus ya banyak sekali suka rumus. Jadi dalam bahasa Inggris juga ada rumus ya. Ini ada subject, past perfect, before, and then subject and past simple atau past simple past tense. John had gone to the store before he went home. Ya. Jadi uh, he went home. Ya. It's the second second action ya. He went home, but the earlier action kejadian yang sebelumnya dia pulang adalah he had gone to the store dia awalnya pergi ke store dulu dan baru pulang tapi dalam bentuk lampau okay. next one subject past simple atau simple past tense after subject past perfect nah. jadi di sini kalau kita menggunakan kata before maka past perfectnya dulu. Oke. Okay. Tapi kalau kita pakai kata after maka past simplenya dulu. John went home after he had gone to the store. Ya, jadi John pergi ke rumah setelah dia telah pergi ke toko. Ya. John telah pergi ke toko sebelum dia pulang. 
Oke okay, perhatikan ya Ada kata before Kalau before past perfect dulu Before baru subject past simple Tapi kalau ada kata after Maka ini adalah past simple dulu ya. Okay, action yang kedua okay, Past simple dulu Baru after And then past perfect Oke okay. And then kata before bisa diletakkan di awal kalimat ya Before John went home He had gone to the store so, Kita afternya bisa diletakkan di awal After John had gone home ya. After John had gone home He went uh, After ha, John had gone to the store He went home after John had gone to the store, he went home. Note, the adverb when can be used in place of before or after in any of these four formulas yeah, without changing the in meaning. We still know which action happened first because the use of past perfect. Okay, so a state which continue for a time in the past but stop before now. Note that there is no connection with the present. Okay. Jadi perhatikan ya, kata the adverb. Ya, ada kata adverb yaitu when. Can be used in place of before or after. In any of these four formula without changing in meaning. We still know which action happened first because of the use of past perfect. Ah, jadi kita bisa menggunakan kata when, ya. A state which continue for a time in the past but stop before now. Note that there is no connection with the present. Oke, okay, jadi kalimat ini present Sorry, past perfect ya, nggak ada hubungan dengan present ya. Past perfect tidak ada hubungannya sama sekali dengan present ya. Jadi nggak ada buktinya, oke? Okay. Ini udah kejaran in the past. Excuse me. Abdul had lived in New York for 10 years before he moved to California. So past perfect progressive continuous ya. Jadi ini Abdul had lived in New York for 10 years before he moved to California. So in 10 years, Abdul lived in New York. Yeah. And then, dia move. Yeah. Dia move dari California. Jadi setelah 10 years, dia pindah. Okay. Now is uh, past perfect progressive. Sama. Past perfect progressive formula juga sama subject had plus been. Kalau yang present uh, present perfect ya kata pakainya adalah have that have dan has has and have ya. Tapi kalau past perfect dia cuma satu yaitu had. Yang past perfect dia cuma satu yaitu had. This past perfect concept can also be conveyed by the past perfect progressive. Atau past perfect continuous Study the following rules ya. We have subject had plus been ya. Karena bentuknya plus ing Maka harus pakai kata been And then verbnya ing ya. Contohnya Abdul had been living in New York for 10 years before he moved to California okay. Jadi pada intinya itu um, membedakannya Ya, kalau present perfect itu pakainya have dan has plus been plus verb ing ya present perfect uh, continuous. Tapi kalau past perfect continuous dia cuma satu. I, you, we, they, he, she, it pakainya had dan been and then verbnya ada verb ing ya. Oke okay, uh, kita lanjut. For example, another example, yeah, the professor had received the material before he gave the quiz. After Henry had visited Puerto Rico, he went to St. Thomas. Before Ali went to sleep, he had called his family. 
George had worked at the university for 45 years before he retired. Okay. Jadi ini untuk uh, perhatikan konsep kalimatnya. The professor yeah, um, had received Okay. Ini adalah first apa second? Ah, ini adalah first ya, yeah, had received the material before he gave the quiz and then second actionnya adalah he gave the quiz. After Henry had visited Portelico, ini first apa second? First ya, yeah, jadi Henry mengunjungi telah mengunjungi Portelico baru dia pergi ke St. Tom's. Before Ali went to sleep. Ah, ini sebelum berarti kalau sebelum adalah second action dulu ya. Ali went to sleep. He had called his family. Ini adalah first action. Earlier earlier activity. George had worked at the university. Nah, ini adalah earlier activity. Dia dulunya kerja di kampus for 35 years before he retire sebelum dia apa berhenti atau uh, pensiun atau kita bisa menggunakan seperti ini George had been working at the university for 45 years before he retired ya yeah. Nah, ini sama tapi bentuknya ada apa ah, bentuknya ing ya tadi bentuknya present perfect aja tapi ini sekarang present perfect continuous George had been working at the university for 45 years before he retired after the committee members had considered the consequences they voted on the proposal okay after the committee members had considered the consequences they voted on the professor ada bentuk ingnya enggak? enggak mm, ada ya yeah. member had considered the doctor had examined the patient thoroughly before he prescribed the medication oke okay. jadi ini um, sama ya bentuknya after and before ya yeah. perhatikan kalau after ini uh, had considered ya yeah, the first action and then the consequences they voted the second action the doctor had examined had examined first action the patient thoroughly before he prescribed the medication second action second action okay guys ya yeah. jadi intinya uh, ini sama ya tadi uh, coba kita bisa pakai ini enggak ini after after the committee members had been considering the consequences they voted on the proposal bisa ya bisa pakai ing oke okay? jadi yang number two juga bisa pakai continuous tense ya the doctor had been examining the patient thoroughly before he prescribed the medication bisa ya jadi bentuk yang ing dan past perfect itu artinya sama tidak ada perubahan ya oke okay. karena kedua-duanya tetap mendeskripsikan earlier past kata kerja waktu lampau sebelum lampau ya Okay, and then we are going to discuss about ah, the exercise, yeah. Exercise uh, nine, okay. Exercise nine. Uh, that's full, okay. And then we move on. Kita melanjut, yeah. Nine and ten, okay. Nine and ten. Ini panjang, oh enggak, enggak panjang Oke, okay. naik and ten ya teman-teman Sekarang kita masuk ke bagian Subject Verb Agreement ah. Ini sering sekali muncul dalam soal TOEFL ya. Subject Verb Agreement ini sering sekali muncul Remember that the subject and verb in a sentence Must agree in person and number 
Ya, jadi dalam bahasa Inggris itu uniknya um, kata kerja itu selalu uh, mengikuti kata benda. Ya, kata kerja selalu mengikuti kata bendanya. Gimana mister maksudnya ini kata kerja kok mengikuti kata benda? Jadi kalau kata bendanya adalah uh, tunggal, ya, misalnya he she it first singular, ya, he she it adalah first singular, third person singular, sorry, third person singular, ya, itu kita pakainya adalah s, ya, karena dia tunggal. Ya, yeah, so the elevator works very well. Okay, elevator ini adalah termasuk it, ya, yeah, third person singular. Maka pakainya s. Okay, contohnya juga kayak uh, he, yeah, he cooks. Okay, then I cooks. Eh, no, 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 enggak, I cook, I cook, enggak pakai S, I cook, jadi kalau third person singular dia pakainya S ya, tapi kalau ini adalah plural, ya, wordnya enggak pakai S, oke, okay. elevators work very well, oke, okay. plural, wordnya ini adalah plural, ya, Subject separated from the verb. When taking a twofold, you must always check the subject and the verb to be sure they agree. Ya. Jadi kita kalau melihat soal-soal twofold, kita harus pastikan dan ngecek apakah subject dan verbnya itu adalah sama atau agree. Ya. However, sometimes it is difficult to decide exactly what the subject is. If the subject And verb are separated. Nah, jadi kalau perhatikan hati-hati ya, kalau subjek dan verbnya adalah terpisah. Contohnya seperti ini. The boys in the room are studying. Nah, are studying. The boys pakai s, maka pakainya are studying. Plural, plural, ya. Yeah. Very often, if the subject and verb are separated, they will be separated by a prepositional phrase. The prepositional phrase has no effect on the verb. Ya, jadi prepositional phrase itu tidak mempengaruhi verbnya sama sekali. The study of English is very interesting. Ya, singular subject. The study of English, oh, sorry, study of languages. Is very interesting. Yang mana ini, Mister? Kok languages atau the study? Yang paling benar the study, ya. The study of languages is very interesting. Several theories, ah, several theories on this subject have been propose, have been post, propose, have been proposed, ya. So several theories, theoriesnya plural. Maka 